Hello everybody, and welcome back uh, to episode, I guess, 2 of Autoit plus Minecraft, or rather Minecraft plus Autoit. Uh, <clears throat> what I wanted to show you guys this time was I have now fully automated the entire process. Uh, we've got our snowman here, the same setup we had before. I apologize for the rain. Let me... You know what, I'm just gonna... Well, no, you kind of want some, some sound as we do this. I hate the rain. If there, if there, there are options, uh, it doesn't matter, I won't complain about it. Anyway, uh, so part of the new setup is this little area here. kind of reminds me of a manual transmission shifting block. You'll see why in a second. This chest has two stacks of sticks, a stack of cobblestone. This stack will eventually contain 30, around 40 stacks after this is done. Uh, we're going to go through this entire stack, or all three of these stacks we're going to go through, and shovels, and there's our crafting table, so I'll let you watch a couple rounds, and then I'll come back after it's done. So we'll start here, get all centered, alright, we should be good, yeah, and uh, hit our one button to start the, to start the script file. Oh, and of course I would start recording the video without having started. Oh man, that makes me sad. I apologize for making terrible videos, guys. Alright, I think we're good now. Here we go. <clears throat> Starts out the same way. Running through a for loop a whole bunch of times for each of these shovels. I don't believe I changed anything with... Yeah, I guess I did. Uh, so, if you'll remember in the previous episode, when it was putting together all these snowballs into snow blocks, it left, I believe, 16 snowballs that I did manually. So I've... It now turns those into snow. It gets all of the rest of the blocks that... I think there were eight, eight stacks of 16 each. So it puts those together into two stacks of 64, plus our leftover stack of four. Now my movement's going to be a little jerky, <clears throat> and the only reason is uh, it's kind of slow and jerky because it was reli it's reliable this way. Uh, I'm doing down commands, so it sends a keystroke for two seconds. So, you know, when it presses back, it'll move me back for two seconds and then move me to the right for two seconds. Uh, and I did that mostly for, for consistency. I, I didn't want to try to figure out exactly how long it would take and then... You know, if there are any other variables popping up, it may affect it, so... Here's where you'll see the first of the differences. Once we get to that last snowball, or that last stack. Not sure why you can't stack snowballs more than 16, that's kind of lame. So, it's combining all those now. Finishing up that last bit, okay. So now, I'm not pressing anything. It's doing keystrokes for me. It's going to drop the snow in the box, or in the chest. We're going to center on this chest. We're going to pull out four stick, or two stacks of four and a stack of four cobble. We're going to come over to the crafting table. I, had to, I ended up having to do this one at a time because the right, the shift click wasn't reliable enough. Uh, this will do it 100% of the time. So, you know, it adds a few seconds, but really in the scheme of what it's doing now, it doesn't have much time at all. I use the water to my advantage here. I'm just pressing up a couple times to get centered, let the water push me back to the location, and we're starting again. I'll let you see one more rotation and then I'll skip forward to the end to show you how much snow it harvested. Let's see, and I'll try to figure out how long this took. I can't remember how long I've been videoing, I'll have to check, but... It took me about another half hour to code the changes. Uh, so, you know, about an hour long script file for this.
and I've already run through it once, uh, and I've actually used that entire double chest of snow again since then. Uh, so I think I'm going to end up building my entire base out of snow, like at least the outer walls, and then maybe on the inside I'll make the walls double thick so the inside will be something different than snow, but it really looks nice floating above the ocean as snow. I may show you that too. Just so that I have it on video. I won't bother showing you the new script files this time around. I don't know how many people really enjoyed that the last video or not. I haven't gotten any comments yet. I've gotten 60 views so far, which, you know, that's a lot for me. But no comments, so. I don't know if people want to see more of the scripting process itself or not. Uh, oh, now the rain finally stopped. Here we are finishing round two. I may do this for a cobblestone generator. Build up a cobblestone generator, which the setup would be nearly identical to this actually, and then just harvest cobblestone forever until I get a double chest of it or a couple double chests of it. I think I'll use a lot of stone bricks with the snow. I think it looks the two look pretty good together, so... Yep, I think I may have to do that. Anyway, I will be right back to show you uh, how much snow I had at the end of this, uh, after a, a st full stack of sticks and cobblestone. And we're back! Just finished up. Uh, it takes about a half hour to work through that whole entire stack, so we are empty, and this is what we got for it. So, however many stacks that is, uh, 27, 8, 9, 10, 33 stacks for a stack of shovels. Or I guess that's more than a stack of shovels, but... Anyway, uh, that's some of the more power of Autoit when used with Minecraft. I'll probably do a cobblestone episode next, uh, since I'm going to need a bunch of cobblestone for what I'm going to try to do. So, uh, thanks for watching, and hope you enjoyed.